There are a bunch of great fashion trends that have arrived in 2024, and some of them I just didn't see coming. Some would even argue that they are controversial, but you are gonna wanna know about them. Let's start off with trend number one, which is eclectic grandpa. This trend has been taking over social media. Tons of videos have thousands of views. It's basically wearing a modern version of comfortable, cozy clothing that a cool grandpa would wear. So think chunky knit sweaters, loafers, a tank style watch. But what makes it eclectic would be the more modern color palettes and patterns. Tyler, the creator, is the first person that comes to mind when I think of this. He's always rocking colorful knit vests and loafers, but with a fun twist to it. What I like most about this is that it's totally thriftable so that you don't need to be spending a lot of money. There's also a curated vintage site called 13 Club that has this look down perfect. I've bought some stuff from them and I highly recommend. However, if you prefer to buy new, here are a bunch of different clothing items at different price points. Gap being the most affordable, they have some great cardigans. Cotton has some great vests. Cost is by far my favorite for knitwear and Todd Snyder is pricey, but easily the best. For loafers, I swear by GH Bass, specifically the ones with the chunky soles. Doc Martens Adrian loafers are a great starter loafer and Blackstock and Weber make these incredible loafers. They are very pricey, but I need to get these this summer. Now there is a lot of crossover between this eclectic grandpa style and old money aesthetic and both of them reside sort of on the dressier side. And if you have ever struggled to dress up, I have the perfect solution for you. I recommend starting off your outfit with your pants, which brings us to trend number two, which are pleated trousers. As mentioned with the rise in the old money aesthetic, people are opting to dress up in a more smarter way than ever before. And the type of pants that you wear are the biggest indicator of an outfit being a classier one or something that's more casual. And when you're wearing a smarter pant, suddenly your shoe choices begin to change. Instead of those red and blue Air Jordan ones, you start reaching for something a little bit more minimal. But here's the deal with pleated trousers. They look amazing with sneakers, the right sneakers. Something like the Triple White Air Force One or Chuck 70, shoes that you guys probably have, can definitely be the move. In fact, I was at Uniqlo recently and their wide fit pleated trousers were being styled in a photo and I thought they looked fantastic. This is an outfit that you can wear to work, or to school, or on a date. Something that can easily be dressed up or down. And for extra style points, you can just rock them with a tank top in the summer, except the arms are sold separate, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. Now make note that these pants typically have a higher waistline, which is important, and I'll tell you why a little bit later on in the video. Moving forward, boots are taking over 2024. The sneaker industry is in a bit of a transition period, but one thing that is consistently grown in popularity are boots, specifically with younger audiences. Boots usually don't have any logos or obnoxious branding and are a solid color, meaning they can be worn with hundreds of different outfits. And because of that, they end up becoming the by the door sneaker that you end up wearing most often because they literally go with everything. Of course, Timberland boots are probably the trendiest option right now. It's their 50th anniversary and the weak colorway is a timeless choice. For hiking boots, those are one of my favorite styles. I just picked up these DM hiking boots and I cannot wait to wear them. They're super, super clean. And for suede cowboy-ish looking boots, La Mer makes these Western boots, which honestly I might cop like tomorrow. Okay, now long shorts are the move for 2024 in all of its varieties. Denim shorts or jorts have taken over the internet last summer and you are gonna see even more of them this year. Back in 2020, the move was the six inch inseam mesh shorts with the colorful graphics and logos like the Eric Emanuel shorts. And while that's still the types of shorts that I wear in the gym or when I hoop from time to time, I would just keep those for those athletic occasions. In fact, you're gonna see people take this shorts trend to the extreme, pairing them with some of the boots that I've mentioned so far. Hey, and I'm here for it because I I think that taking risks like this is how you get perceived as a fashionable person. The juxtaposition of wearing a hiking boot or a cowboy boot with 10 inch denim shorts doesn't make any sense at all, but when done correctly, looks absolutely fire. Jorts is another one of those super DIY thriftable clothing items. I've made my own jorts before. The key is that you gotta put them in the washer and the dryer right after so that they get a nice frill at the bottom. If you're looking to buy though, there are these Lee denim shorts, which are great and affordable. You can get them off Amazon. Stussy has denim shorts as well as Levi's, of course. Okay, so let's talk hoodies for the days that you want to dress down. Now, for me to say that hoodies are a trendy clothing item sounds a bit silly. Everybody wears hoodies, but you don't want to buy the wrong type of hoodie. Hoodies are being talked about more online now than ever before, and the best hoodies to buy in 2024 all have the same characteristics. So, it's important to buy the correct one. What you need are heavyweight, boxy fit hoodies in wearable colors that are absent of logos or branding. 
graphics and logos can come across as tacky and can clash with your outfit. Finding something minimal or sleek will get more wear. When you're looking out for hoodies as well, GSM is a term that you'll hear often, which stands for grams per square meter. And that just basically refers to the weight of the hoodie. Seventh is a brand based out of the UK. They make a 610 GSM double lined hoodie that I absolutely love. Velour Garments is another great recommendation. And the Yeezy Gap makes a 700 GSM double lined in both the pullover and the zip up option. And the prices on these are pretty affordable. And for the most affordable option, I would go with Abercrombie. They have great pullovers and zip ups in a number of different colors. So if you've gotten any value out of the video so far, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos just like this one. But let's move into the next trend, which would be minimal sneakers. Back in the day, the shoes with the highest technology were always the most popular. They either had to have a galaxy print or be bright red or orange or blue. People are preferring now to wear more minimally branded monochromatic sneakers. And I'll tell you why. We've seen this with the Adidas Samba. And I think that the next big sneaker to pop off will be the Adidas BW Army. This is a pretty historic shoe that originally was designed as a German army trainer, which has then been remixed dozens of times by brands like Margiela and their Gat sneaker. Recently, there was an amazing collaboration with Heart Copy on this amazing, amazing pair. Consistently, these designs have been the most popular for the past few years, including the Wales Bonner edition as well. And with more colorways to be released this year, this collaboration will continue to grow. But yeah, if you ask me, Bryce, what is the best shoe, do it all shoe to wear in 2024? For me, it would be the Adidas BW Army in the white colorway. So yeah, we've noticed a couple themes by now, right? People are wearing more boots that are the same color. People are wearing more simple monochromatic sneakers. I think that the modern consumer just wants fewer choices to make. They want something that's easy to wear and goes with everything. Let me know if you agree in the comments. Next up is cropped clothing. Cropped tees, shirts, jackets, hoodies have taken over this year and it's all about proportions. You can use the rule of thirds to style these like an expert where one third of your outfit is the cropped shirt and the remaining two thirds are those high waisted trousers. And if you're a short king like me, this is a blessing because what it'll do is it'll extend the look of your legs, making you appear taller. Now, if you want me to go in depth about this topic and some other style tips, let me know and I'll make a dedicated video about it. The best part about this trend though is that it's free 99. You can get scissors or a fabric cutter and cut the bottom of your shirt to match your pants waistline. There are a ton of tutorials on how to do this online, but if you prefer new, I got you guys covered. For t-shirts, the Uniqlo oversized Aerism tee is a good move. I recommend getting your true size. You can get some from Urban Outfitters as well or if you want more premium options entire studios they also make a great crop zip up and pullover hoodie as well for shirts i recommend this rosa ragosa workwear shirt which is maddie matheson's clothing brand i've also seen people wear these like cropped football jerseys which i think is super clean as well okay let's talk small watches i'm a watch guy and i have tried dozens of styles over the years gone are the days of those hulking watches nowadays some of the rarest most desirable watches have a leather strap and are about a 30 to 35 millimeter and are beloved by some of the biggest watch collectors in the world. First brands that come to mind, of course, would be Cartier and their variety of unique tank models, as well as the JLC Reverso. But let me save you $10,000. The Seiko Essentials watch is around $150. It's modeled after the Cartier tank, of course. This thing is awesome. But Seiko is hands down the best affordable watch brand in the world. Baggy jeans are here to stay in 2024. In fact, it was one of the most searched clothing items in all of 2023. This is especially the case for those of you who prefer the more streetwear aesthetic. And if I'm being honest, no one quite wears them like Justin Bieber. For a guy that knows he's on camera 24 seven, you got to applaud the fact that he is out here taking risks and wearing jeans in a wide range of different widths, lengths, and washes. Like this outfit here is by far my favorite. I think it's just so simple and cool looking. Now the key here is all about proportions, but not about length, about width. If you were gonna wear a baggy hoodie or your standard puffer jacket, the pants should definitely match as well. Now, in terms of which pants to get, Stussy's big old jeans are always a good move and they drop them almost every season. Believe it or not, The Gap has some sick baggy jeans. Like, damn, look how clean these look. I've also heard so many good things about the weekday Astro jeans. Abercrombie has 20 different washes to choose from. Same applies with wide fitting sweatpants as well. Much like the baggy jeans, they were one of the most searched clothing items in all of 2023. And what I love most about these is that they have all the comfort benefits of wearing sweatpants, but the rule of thirds still apply to them as well. When combined with some cropped tees, for example, you can extend the length of your legs, giving you a nice seamless silhouette. And since these styles have gotten popular, there are a ton of cool different variations to choose from. 
like snap bottom sweats that I think are super cool. Nike Test Fleece has their own variety as well as Adidas. I have these wash black sweats from Entire Studios. Champion makes a great affordable option. Now to learn why Asics is one of the biggest and best sneaker brands in the world right now, check this video out right here. I'll even let you know exactly what sneaker models to buy.